what's up guys thomas back with another lintense video today we have a fragrance from on far but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone that tablet that laptop that macintosh that brand new big screen tv whether you watch me at home at work on a plane a train an automobile maybe you watch me in that bed maybe you watch me on the toilet Wherever and however you're watching me, it is an honor. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important, especially for someone that's still, I guess I would say, kind of new with this fragrance journey. It's about, about two years in. Uh, definitely growing, and I uh, can't wait to see where this goes next. The journey is still uh, in a process. So, uh, with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance. Now, this is a uh, company... Uh, that I've never heard of, or a, uh, a Middle Eastern house, if you will. This one is called Anfar, A-N-F-A-R. They do have a website if you want to check out some of their fragrances. This is Oud Al Anfar, okay? So O-U-D-H-A-L-A-N-F-A-R. I'll leave that right down there. Dot com. So go check out their fragrances. They got an email as well. So maybe it's time to hit them up and see if they want to send your boy some stuff. Anyways, I got this one off of eBay from pretty much one of my favorite sellers. I'll leave the description down below. But this one is called Signature. Okay. Signature. This must be their signature scent, if you will. Let's see if this is signature scent worthy. Now, hey. Okay. You guys obviously came to this channel because you like the Middle Easterns, you like the clones, you, you you don't need to have the most expensive designer, the niche, all that. But for some of you guys that feel like you need the designer, the niche, I'm going to need for you guys to calm down, okay? Obviously, if you're spending $300, you would hope to have better performance. And a lot of those fragrances don't have great performance. You would hope to have better quality ingredients. That may be the case. But here's the thing. Okay. Here is the thing. Yes, some of these Middle Easterns, I don't know. Who knows what we're spraying on ourselves? We don't know. I don't know when you go get that niche quality. You don't know what you're spraying on yourself. Okay. Here's the thing. If you take a bottle of Mason or Lumber down there, somewhere over there, and you take a bottle of Tom Ford, you spray both of those onto a roach, both of those roaches will do the crazy leg dance, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But, both of them will do the same trick. One will cost you a little bit more, one will cost you less, but they'll do the same exact thing. Not many people will know about it. You can lie and tell someone that you are wearing a Creed if you are not. Who cares? Make them go buy $400 if they like it that bad. You save. Anyways, let's finally get into this fragrance. On far, okay? Another Middle Eastern uh, fragrance house. Uh, I'm not sure if they are doing pretty much the same thing as everyone else. The clones and stuff. I'm pretty sure they are. Honestly, it's... It's almost hard to not do a clone anymore because almost everything has been done. Just think about everything as far as uh, entertainment, music, you know, food. Everything has been done, okay? Everything has been done. Even if you don't know about it, someone has done it, okay? So it is hard to do new fragrances. Make some, make some fragrances that smell like spaghetti or something or some garlic bread. Do that. Who wouldn't want to smell like a nice piece of garlic going into work? Not out of your damn breath, but... Man, can you imagine going into the office and it smells like someone's baking some garlic bread and spaghetti and it's actually your shirt? You just smell good? And you didn't get off of a hard, long night shift at some pizzeria up the street washing dishes? You just smell like it because they got a spray that smells like that? Anyways, let's get into this thing. So, man, looking at this bottle already... Looks very similar to a bottle that I have here, which is uh, from Mason Alumbra. So I'm almost assuming I'm going to show you these in a little bit. This is the Tafa. This is Onfar. I'm just almost assuming Onfar is pretty much like a a, a branch of the Tafa. Who knows? But take a look at these bottles. Very similar. You guys remember I did a fragrance review on. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was the horse 
the blue bottle with the horse same looking bottle so these companies are all probably working together probably just uh, acting like there's something new making more money for each other but who knows but there you go this by the way extra wood smells great Let's smell this one see what it's like let's see if it's signature scent worthy cap is very nice let's see if the caps feel the same caps both have pretty much like the same weight so there you go there is the sprayer let's spray it away let's see if this is signature scent worthy nice wide distribution nice nice atomizer actually Ooh. okay this definitely smells like something that has been done before i'm almost kind of getting a Man, this almost kind of comes off smelling a little bit like. This almost has like, it, it, it smells like it has like maybe some cocoa in it or cacao, however you want to call it. Maybe some kind of fruitiness in here. There's like some spice, a little bit of wood in here. But this smells like something that has been done before okay this smells like something and i just can't put well i'm putting my nose on it but figuratively speaking i can't put my nose on it well i'm putting or finger on it is that what it is but it smells similar to something like almost like either most wanted or um it almost kind of comes off smelling without a little bit of that coffee maybe you just take like a little bit of that fruit a little bit of that cacao smell that <sighs> this kind of comes off as a little bit more of a mature take on say something like polo red intense the one that smells like that cranberry has that coffee this kind of has that without that that nice orange like if you took cranberries and put that orange and start letting it bubble into that pan this kind of smells like that but the cranberry and stuff or the fruit if you will that's in this is not overpowering like that beautiful cranberry note that you get in polo red intense if you will but it kind of smells very similar that dry down it, it there could be there could be a little bit of coffee in this now i'm not going to go out there and say grab this if you really need a bottle of polo red intense because you might say you know what yeah, that doesn't smell nothing like but that's kind of what i'm getting like something like that polo red intense almost even something like um most wanted by azaro okay has that kind of slightly fruity but then also like this gourmandy smell to it now again It's definitely like a fruity gourmand, if you will. This, you guys, it's, again, if you smell it, you're going to say, yes, I've smelled this before. But if you just go into it with an open mind, just say, you know what, I just want to try it. Okay, here's the thing. If you don't have, see, when you got a huge collection like this or any other one of us reviewers, okay, obviously you're going to have multiple fragrances that smell like, okay, but... Here's the thing, if you get one that smells sort of like Polo Red Intense or even Azara Most Wanted by Night, okay? You get this one. This one costs maybe $20, $30 less than that. You use this one for your everyday use and you use the Azaro for your, you know, going out, special occasions, whatever. Who cares? Sell that damn thing. Go get yourself some new clothes. You probably look like a bum anyways. And go get yourself some of this and go do some fake stunting, if you will. Go almost kind of has man it's like this fruity almost cherry syrup maybe cherry um uh, like cough drop -ish, if you will like this hard cherry candy fruity kind of uh gourmandy maybe it's cacao maybe it's coffee i don't know but there's something in this that i actually really like now i was i was a little scared that this would be like too sweet but it's not. It's a it's a very pleasant fragrance. Now, if you go spring heavy, this then yes, it could be a little bit too sweet or cloying, if you will. But if you go with the right amount of sprays, and I honestly think you only need probably like 
maybe three to five max sprays, okay? This, not, this is not Mr. 14 sprays, Mr. Willy Torres, okay? This is not Mr. 14 spray, okay? Now, if you want to choke some people out, if that's what your goal is with these fragrances, then be my guest. Spray away as many as you want. Go 24, who cares? Go whatever you got to do. But do not spray this and go right into an elevator. Do not spray this 14, 25 times and go into an airplane. Do not do this in an enclosed environment, okay? Kind of be open, open environment. At work, yes, but spray it like 30 minutes before you go into work. If you work at that cubby, yes, 30 minutes, wait. But there you guys go. Man, this is great. This is going to be great for the fall, the cool weather outdoors, nice and clubby. It's kind of got that clubby scent as well, almost... It almost, like, not the same scent profile, but that same DNA as far as when you can wear this. Almost like a Eros, if you will, too. Most Azaro wanted by night, if you will. This stuff smells great. Again, kind of fruity, kind of gourmandy, kind of spicy, and a slightly woody. I like it. I like it. Go check this one out, you guys. This one is called Signature Port her own by Anfar. Okay, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully it's not Anfar, Anfar, far drive, far away, far enough. I don't know. Anfar. That's all I know is it's Anfar, and that is that signature port her own. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here again. I'm not sure if Anfar and Latafa and all these are just pretty much the same thing. They're just selling out all these different fragrances just to make you think you're getting something new when you're probably getting the same thing. Who knows? Somebody let me know. Let me know. If you live over in the Middle East, go get, let me know what they are thinking when they're doing this. But anyways, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.